So you get invited to a last minute party or a last minute get together and you have nothing to bring. Well, most Wisconsinites are gonna choose to go down to their local grocery store and pick up a Racine Danish Kringle. Truly a Wisconsin original. No, seriously, it's really hard to find these made anywhere else outside of Wisconsin. Kringles were first introduced in the late 1800s in Racine, Wisconsin by Danish immigrants. Then over the years, the Kringles popularity grew and became a staple in all local grocery stores and put Racine on the map as the most Danish city in America with more Kringle shops and more Danes than anywhere else in America. The oldest Kringle shops are Bernstein's and o &H Danish Bakery. So go check them out. They do deliver outside of Wisconsin, all over America. Now I'm not much of a baker, but I was up for the challenge and this recipe is based off of a New York Times recipe and I'm very happy with the way it turned out. So let's check it out. First, you're gonna start off with 130 grams of all-purpose flour and 130 grams of bread flour in a large bowl. Then add 10 grams of granulated sugar, two teaspoons of instant yeast, and three quarters teaspoon of fine sea salt, and whisk together. Then take 225 grams of cold unsalted butter and grate with a cheese grater. Then add it to your bowl with your hands and incorporate the butter into the flour mixture and pinch with your fingers until small pebbles of flour form. Don't work the butter too much. If you have a food processor, you can just cube the butter up and pulse all the ingredients together until you have the same result. Then take 80 milliliters of cold whole milk and one large egg and beat together. Then add that mixture to your dry mixture and mix with a rubber spatula until well incorporated. Transfer your dough onto a work surface to knead into a cohesive dough and pat into a rectangle. Wrap your dough in plastic wrap and place in the fridge for four hours. Now onto the filling. Take two egg whites and whisk until frothy and reserve for later. Then in a bowl of a stand mixer, add 170 grams of almond paste, 60 grams of unsalted butter, 30 grams of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of your beaten egg whites, and a pinch of salt. Beat with a paddle attachment until well combined and then mix in a light squeeze of lemon juice to your own liking. Reserve the filling for later. Now for the icing. In a medium bowl, add 125 grams of powdered sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and four teaspoons of water. Whisk until a glaze is formed and reserve for later. Then I decided to toast some almonds to sprinkle on top for garnish. So preheat an oven to 350 degrees and toast sliced almonds on a sheet tray for about three to five minutes or until golden brown and reserve for later. After your dough has rested in the fridge for four hours, Place on a lightly floured surface and roll out into an 8 by 15 inch rectangle. Take one end and fold towards the middle and then take the opposite end and fold over the first fold. Wrap that in plastic wrap and chill for 20 minutes. Now you're going to repeat this process two more times to achieve what is called a laminated dough. Folding the dough like this creates multiple layers and a flaky pastry, similar to a croissant dough. Now this recipe makes two Kringles, which is great because I totally messed up the first one. It turned out fine, but my second one turned out almost perfect. So, after your last folds and resting in the fridge for 20 minutes, take your dough and divide in half. Roll the divided dough into a six inch by 24 inch rectangle. Take your piping bag of almond filling and pipe half of the filling down the center of your dough. Take one end of your dough and fold over the filling, pinching to ensure the filling is enclosed. Brush some egg white on the rest of the exposed dough and fold your first fold over and pinch to create a seal. Ensure your dough measures out to 24 inches and take both ends and create an oval shape and pinch ends together to create a seal. Flip your Kringle over onto a parchment lined sheet tray and cover loosely with plastic wrap and let rise in a warm place for 45 minutes to an hour. 
Preheat your oven to 375 degrees, and once the kringle has risen, brush with egg white and bake in the oven for about 25 minutes or until golden brown, ensuring to rotate halfway through. Let your kringle rest until completely cool, and once cool, garnish with your icing, your toasted almonds, and I added a few pinches of Maldon flaky sea salt for a sweet and salty effect. And there you have it, a homemade Kringle. Now I was so happy with how this turned out, but I wanted to elevate it a bit. So I took some raspberry compote and I paired it with my Kringle because almond and raspberry go great together. And I plated it up all fancy to put a different spin on it and turned a simple pastry into a beautifully plated dessert you could find at a nice restaurant. I hope everyone enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making this recipe. If you did enjoy it, please share it with your friends. You can hit that subscribe button if you want. To stay updated on all the new videos, hit the alert tone. Thank you for the support, I truly appreciate it.